Hi everybody, welcome to a special information video. Just with an update of some preventative measures we would like to keep in place as a school moving forward in the autumn term. In this video you will see the reasons for these um, extensions of preventative measures and, and, the, and why it's so important to us at Wren's Nest. Um, if you need to talk to us at any point, please pop in. If you need to speak to me, um, you can talk to me on the gate as normal or pop into the school office. Um, no problem at all. My job is just to keep you safe and that, that is what I intend to do, both your ch children and you as parents and our families. Any questions, don't hesitate to get in contact. Um, please listen carefully to the slides and as always, if, if you know somebody that doesn't access Parent Hub or our website um, for this video detail, please pass it on to them. Take care. Now for an important update. The staggered start and finish times that have been in place since the beginning of our school year from the beginning of September uh, has meant that as a school we have stayed healthy. Um, due to a steep rise in COVID cases in local sc schools and communities, um, the, from the advice from the local authority and with their support and with conversation with our governing body, and myself as head teacher, the decision has been made to keep these preventative measures in place until the 22nd of October. And as I've said, this has been supported by the local authority. So these times that you can see on this slide here will remain in place until the 22nd of October. Um, I, I can't thank you enough for your ongoing support with this. I know for some of you, you found it a little bit difficult with having the different children in different year groups and at different times but all I can say is thank you and also you know me well and you know my priority has always been and will be to keep your children first and foremost safe and well and then you as a school community. Um, so it's really important for me that we stay COVID free. This has been praised by the local authority that we've, we've managed to do this um, and I hope you continue to join me in, in your support of this, um, just for a little while longer. In addition to this, and regretfully, uh, we are going to postpone the start time of our planned opening of Breakfast Club. Again, this is due to the rise in COVID cases, um, and we're just trying to minimise um, the risk of mixing children across the wider group in school. Um, the decision not to provide breakfast club um, and our after school clubs is just to maximise that time that I have in school um, to keep that the priority and so that we keep close contact time with each other to the necessary minimum. Um, attending school every day is a necessity for us at Wren's Nest and you have done that really well. We've had some great attendance so thank you for that um, and again thank you for your support with this. I know it's not ideal and it is with regret but again I am only doing this at this time with the support of the governors and the local authority so that I can keep everyone safe um, and keep children in school so I really do hope this provision can return after October half term um, but there is a delay on our planned opening of this on the 4th of October. After school clubs will hopefully restart after October half term. This is what we'd planned anyway um, in our phased return back to normal school life. Um, we're currently in the process of reviewing the after school club provisions that we offer um, just to make sure I can capture the real interest of the children. The plan remains for you as parents and families to be notified of the range of clubs on offer during this half term so that these places can be allocated to children for their club choices should they be able to start after October half term. I am hoping that this can happen um, and we plan to still get that notification of those clubs out to you this half term. This is a copy of the letter that has been sent home with your child today. It just keeps you updated in terms of this video information, um, just so you've got a hard copy of the information. Um, if you need an additional copy of this letter, it is available on our website, or if you'd like another one, please ask in the school office um, and we will, will provide you with one. Um, but it is on the school website. And again, as I've said, it just details these slides that I've been through with you, but also just gives you a little bit more information as to our reasons to keep 
keep these preventative measures in place a little bit longer. As always, please don't hesitate to contact us should you have any questions or queries. Um, here are the school details that you may need, the school mobile, um, telephone line and our email. But feel free to pop into school, um, into the office and somebody will um, talk to you should you need to talk to them at that time. Um, take care of yourselves. Again, thank you for supporting me with this. I do really appreciate it. And hopefully we continue we can continue to stay a safe um, and COVID free school, um, maximising children's learning. Take care everyone.